Hi everyone, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am first up for UK Scrap Addicts for this month and as we do every month we have a new theme and this month we are concentrating on using embossing folders. Now for me, embossing folders are something that I use in my card making. Um, I don't tend to use them so much in my scrapbooking. So this was a really good challenge to uh, get my brain ticking over and have a think about um, what I could use embossing folders for. Um, I know that I used embossing folders in a layout I made a couple of months ago for UK Scrap Addicts. So this was a great challenge for me to be able to figure out another way uh, to use embossing folders. So I had the idea of doing... Um, backfilling a cut file with embossed um, cardstock so I was I've had had this um, cut file um, it says memories just backwards at the moment and I kept the um, the inside part of the letters and then I cut the paper to roughly the same size to enable me to then just trim down my letters so I could just easily backfill this cut file and I decided, despite the fact that the um, cut file I have cut um, or has been cut in white, I did decide to go with white uh, white cardstock for my embossing as well. I wanted that white on white tone, especially because um, a lot of the design and pattern is going to be coming from the, um, the emboss rather than from a pattern paper. So if you're going to try this technique, then I would recommend that you stick to a solid coloured cardstock. You could change up the colours um, if you're going to give this a go. But yeah, stick to a solid coloured cardstock um, to get the best results so you can really see the detail on the, um, on the embossing. And there we have it. So I have a handful of different embossing folders. So I tried um, just to mix and match the patterns on the cut file and I am so pleased with how this turned out so I will definitely be trying this technique again and if you are then I do encourage you to um, head on over to the UK Scrap Addicts Facebook group where we have the design team put their creative team put up their um, layouts into an album and we do encourage you to come and join in as well so if you want to come over and have a look at some of the inspiration that we share over there um, and then um, I will leave a link to the Facebook group in the description box down below so I'm going to scrap this photograph from last year and um, it is quite a dark photo but um, everything else on my page is very light and airy so I'm going to make my photo really pop on this and I'm just going to un um, have that underneath my, I was going to say underlay, I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm going to have that underneath my cut file. Now I wanted a bit more of a title so I'm going to call this Our Memories and this collection here is this is an older one. This is the Unforgettable Collection from Coco Vanilla. And um, this has been hanging around in my stash and I keep pulling it out and making the odd layout here and there. So it is great to get some of the older stuff used up. It's still one of my favourite collections. So um, I'm not too worried that it's, um, it's still hanging around because it's still beautiful. The colours in it are just gorgeous. So I picked the wood grain paper just to give me a really neutral background for me to be able to um, embellish on top of. And then I'm just going to go through all of my bits and bobs that I've got left. Um, it's slim pickings on the ephemera as to what I've got left. But I did have this big floral piece. Um, and so that is going to be the basis of my first cluster at the bottom, which is going to be underneath the, um, the cut file. So adding different bits in. Now, one of the things that I love to do to make my collections go so much further is to fussy cut. Um, elements from the pattern paper so in this collection there was a paper that had a whole load of butterflies on and that was still my favorite paper um, because I have I think I've had a couple of sheets of it to be honest um, I tend to fussy cut those out and use those as extra embellishments especially when my ephemera pack is now so thin so low on what I've got left 
um, it really helps to bulk it out with those butterflies and um, it's just a great little extra for very little for the cost of a pattern paper as well. Yes, you have got to go through the process of fussy cutting, but um, it's definitely worth it in the end. And it's the same with flower papers as well. If you can get a flower, if you can get a paper with a whole load of flowers on that seem to be fairly easy to fussy cut, then that is another way to be able to stretch your collection a lot further. So I think I'm fairly happy with a lot of the pieces that I've chosen and I'm just trialling them in um, three separate spaces. So I've got that big cluster going on down the bottom, which kind of underlines the title um, and then up to the top right and the top left. So I have these clear stickers and I haven't used the many of these. So I thought I would get a few included on here and you can't massively see them on this video, but you can just see a little pop of colour. And I really like these and these are like paint swatches. Um, so I'm just adding those on into the sides of um, the clusters, just popping out from the clusters. And then I'm going to go ahead and commit and get all of this stuck down. So I have popped my cut file up onto some foam and that's just going to give me some extra um, dimension, some extra um, shadowing behind that cut file as well and um, that's one of my favourite things to do with a cut file is to pop it up onto some foam just to give it some added dimension so it's all, all not um, all flat on the um, on the background and then I'm just going to tuck my photo at a little bit of an angle back in underneath that um, that cut file there to the left and then I'm going to make a start on um, adhering all of my bits and pieces down so originally I do start with double sided tape and then I realised that actually if I use a little bit of wet glue it does give me a bit of a bit of wiggle room to be able to get these pieces back in um, before they adhere to the background. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, pop this flare down. I think I've only got one flare left now so which is sad <clears throat> and I'm not buying any more or even though I love the collection I'm not going to buy another lot of it because otherwise it will just do the rotation and stay in my stash again like it has been so once it's gone it's gone so I just need to make the most of um, what I have left for the minute so I've now I think that bottom cluster is now all stuck down and I've got a couple of butterflies at the top um, right to form a mini cluster I would call it I'm not going to put anything else in with those butterflies because they are floating which is natural for butterflies but if I put anything else there I think it will just look a bit random so I'm just going to concentrate to on having two bigger clustered areas and then just the balance with those butterflies up to the right as well so using some foam um, and some wet glue just to add again different heights and different dimensions to some of those bits of ephemera and then I decide that I do want to add another butterfly in to that left hand cluster and again out comes that uh, the butterfly paper ready to um, add another one on and I only ever put the glue on I kind of bend the butterfly in half and put the glue down the middle so the wings can stick up a bit now the wings they will get pushed down a bit when they go into the album um, but they won't be completely flat on the layout so that's what I do with the butterflies and then I stumbled across this branding strip and it's only a half branding strip because they don't give full ones on the um, cocoa vanilla um, collections but I didn't want this to go to waste and I really loved the words that were on it as well so I thought I would um, I would just trim off that extra white area and then I'm going to add that and connect it to the edge of my page and then I'm going to pull um, a little bit more of that and pop it at the top as well and again that wet glue is very forgiving and allows me the time to be able to move it around and get that situated um, before it dries <clears throat> and that's where my other piece is going to go up there as well just trying to make a decision as to which layer I'm going to tuck it into um, I don't particularly want to go and cover up all of those stickers that I've already put on so I'm just being mindful about having little bits and pieces poking through and I didn't want it coming off the end of the photo either so um, that is that worked out perfectly so next up coming in with um, some more bits and pieces so the stickers from the 
six by 12 sticker sheet and I've got two of these so I really need to make headway with getting some of them used so I'm gonna pop quite a few of them on here I've got these tiny word stickers at the bottom of that sheet as well so I'm going to include a few of those in these clusters um, just some sentiments that that make sense for the photo and then uh, one of the final embellishments I'm going to use is enamel dots and I'm going to pop three up into um, each cluster, three into each cluster. And <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see that the, the bright pink one I've got in the top right there um, is hanging off the edge of the page. And I will trim that. Um, I like the fact that it's interacting with the edge of the page. So just some strong, sharp scissors and you can cut your enamel dots Um I wouldn't suggest you do it where it's not stuck to cardstock and stupidly I should have held on to it so I'm holding on to the enamel dot and the cardstock at the same time and then just snipping and then the final flourish is just some white ink splatter um, just to add some artsiness into it let's call it that and this layout is pretty pretty much finished so thank you very much for joining me today um, if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up if you're watching on my channel please head on over to uk scrap addicts and if you're watching on uk scrap addicts please head on over to my channel and um, any comments leave them in the comments section down below see you next time bye